Hi, in this video we demonstrate how to provision a virtual machine on the Amazon Web Services platform. On the aws.amazon.com page, we sign into our console. And after successfully authenticating, we land on the AWS Management Console. Now from the console, if we scroll down, or from the services menu, we locate the compute section and then select the EC2, which stands for Elastic Compute Cloud. Now this page allows us to configure and manage EC2 instances. So let's scroll down and select launch instance and also launch instance from the drop down menu. Now the first step is to choose an AMI, an Amazon machine image, which is a template that includes the desired operating system and specific application packages. So let's type Ubuntu in the search bar. And let's scroll down and find a latest release. So Ubuntu Server 20.04 LTS. So let's select this. Then in the following step, we need to choose the instance type, which determines the resources profile of the EC2 instance, the CPU and its memory. So let's look for two CPUs and maybe eight gigabytes of memory. So that would be a T2 large instance. So let's pick T2 large. It is part of the general purpose family, typically the most inexpensive and suitable for most generic workload types. At this point, we could just review and launch the instance with its most default networking metadata storage um, and firewall rules. However, we may want to customize the instance. So we could click next configure instance details. This would allow us to configure the number of instances, uh, the network subnets, um, the public IP, capacity reservation, shutdown behavior, uh, which we're going to leave it um, the default to stop the instance. Um, we may enable the hibernate behavior. And also we can change the file system. And then we can also add some metadata to our instance. Next, we can configure storage. So by default, we get a root file system, a root volume of uh, eight gigabytes. I could add a new volume. Elastic block storage, EBS. And let's say I want it to be 10 gigabytes. I leave it the general purpose SSD. And I also want it to be deleted when I terminate my instance. I can skip tags because these are optional. Then finally, I can configure firewall rules as part of the security group. So I will create a new security group. And I will add a new rule. And I want to allow all traffic from 
all sources, all protocols to all port ranges. Now I hit review and launch. And I hit launch. Now in order to secure all future logins to the EC2 instance, we're asked to use an existing or create a new key pair which is a set of private and public keys that will allow us to identify ourselves whenever logging into the EC2 instance without the need to type in a password. So we decide to create a new key pair. So let's create a new key pair. And we have to give it a name. Let's call it cloud infra. And then we have to download the key pair. This key pair will only be generated once and we will only have the option to download it a single time. So let's download the key pair. Let's hit save. It's in our downloads directory. We have to memorize this and we have to remember it, remember it for future reference. And now I choose to launch the instance. Again, it usually takes a little bit for the instance to be provisioned and to become ready. And then from the launch status window, we can scroll down and hit view instances. And this will take us to the instances management window. From this console, I can connect to my EC2 instance. And I have several methods available. Let's choose the browser based SSH client, we'll leave the default username. Let's hit connect. We are connected. Let's verify the operating system. So cat at C OS release. And it is Ubuntu 20.04 LTS. Okay, so it's satisfactory. So it is safe to exit. And now we can also close the window. But also from this console, there are several actions that are available for me. Again, connect. Change the state of the instance, I can stop the instance, I can hibernate it if I can, if I enable it, uh, when I create the instance. I can reboot the instance or terminate the instance, which will delete the instance, all of its data and all of the associated volumes of this instance. Okay. So let's choose to terminate it. I no longer need this instance. And while it is being terminated or deleted, let's talk about homework. Yes, again, homework. So this method allows us to create a single virtual machine instance or a set of instances, which may not be the most desirable for an environment where reusability and shareability are key infrastructure requirements. So with that in mind, AWS or Amazon Web Services provides us with another method to create virtual machines through launch templates. And they are here. 
So a launch template is an instance configuration that can be saved, modified, reused, or shared with other users. Okay. So let's hit create a launch template. And as you scroll through the launch template configurations, options, you will see that it closely resembles an EC2 instance configuration. Okay. So once you familiarized yourselves with EC2 instances, as homework, I invite you to explore a launch template. Start by configuring a template. And then from the launch templates listing, you will then select your template and from the actions menu at the top of the, the screen, you will select a launch instance from the template. Okay, so it is very easy, similar to what we have done earlier. So good luck with the homework. <laughs> Should you need any assistance, feel free to explore the course forum for solutions or post a new discussion. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.